How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Merry Christmas to all those that celebrate. This video is going out on Christmas Eve, obviously, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to set up the Freedom 5 5G miner. Not a lot of people actually have their hands on this miner. I got the opportunity to purchase one, so I purchased it. And the setup video, the reason I'm making this setup video is because it is different than any other Helium hotspot you have set up before. And I think it's important that everyone knows how to set it up properly. Now it is very, uh, you know, straightforward and there are instructions online and they do have a step-by-step -step on how to do it. But I just wanted to walk you guys through, tell you guys where I had problems and what I did to solve that. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, so I forgot to say like, comment, subscribe, but you guys already know the drill by now. So if you don't know what Freedom Fi is, it's one of the first, if not the first Helium 5G miner on the network. You are able to provide a 5G network and soon you will be able to provide uh, that coverage with hopefully uh, normal network providers such as AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile and stuff like that. Also in the future, it did say that it might be able to provide a Wi-Fi network. And by providing these additional networks, as well as putting out a helium network, you are going to be rewarded for it with a new HIP bill that has been passed or is yet to be implemented, something along that line. But this is the website. If you guys are going to set up your Freedom Find Miner, there is a step-by-step -step guide, and I'm going to be using the images from that step-by-step -step guide just because it is the best way to do it because I already set up my miner, so I can't actually show you guys exactly what i did but the pictures are exactly the same as what i did i ended up having to try it on my phone on my computer and then on a laptop and none of it worked and i'll get into that so i have some images here uh, i can go here so first off obviously you're going to want to go to um the helium app and it's very similar where you're going to press the the plus button here and then you're going to say add hotspot search for the freedom five miner click it and then it will give you this and you have to actually onboard your freedom fight hotspot by tapping the link below so this is basically uh, activating the freedom fight hotspot and you have to do it on their platform that's probably just because of the technology within the freedom fight it's a little bit more sophisticated so if you do it through the app there shouldn't be a problem when you click this your wallet address is automatically put at the end of the url so when you get to uh, a step after this, you don't have to enter it, but then you just have to enter your serial number and you can either enter it or you can scan this QR code and it gives you your serial number. Um, so if you're on a, a computer, you can actually scan the QR code through the webcam and it, it, it worked for me. So after you scan it, it's gonna ask for your wallet ID. And if you go back to wallet ID is your wallet address, the wallet address that all of your hotspots are connected to. But if you went through the Helium app, it should uh, be there automatically. And then you can just click next. And then it says waiting for your device to come online. So it tells you uh, initially when you first plug in your Freedom Fi device, it is automatically turned on and there is a red power button and it, it that means it's good. And what you're supposed to do is wait for it to come online. It takes up to 15 minutes. Make sure you have it hardwired. That's what they suggest. Uh, that's what I did. It worked no problems. And then after that, it's going to say waiting for device authentication. And this is where I had my issue. So every time I got to this point, basically what would happen is I got to zoom out here. I would get to this. And then after this step, it would say, okay, next press the power button. And then you will be able to get to this part, which is waiting for device authentication. So I pressed the power button and what it did was it shut off my device. I was like, I didn't know why it was doing this. Turns out this is an actual issue slash uh, prevention or something like that with the Freedom Fight company. So I believe they have to activate something on their end. They didn't say exactly what they had to activate. But if I go here, you guys can see I have a support ticket. Uh, we rectified the issue. Please let us know if you still face the same issue. And I basically said the pretty much the same thing here. So you can see this is my image. It's stuck at waiting for device authentication. And I said, I've been trying to set this up. When I plug it in, the miner turns on as it should. I wait 15 minutes and it goes through fine. And then this is press the power button and the device turns off. Every time the device turns off, the onboarding resets and takes me back to step one. So... I kept getting stuck and it would bring me back to here, enter serial number, and then I would have to go through this and then it kept just looping. And then this kind of gentleman reached out to me, said it had the same issue and uh, some other people had the same issue. It looks like they are having a, 
so for some reason, that is how these miners are being set up right now. Hopefully in the future, that is not how it works. But once you get through the waiting for your device authentication, you're good, you're fine. And then you can click next, authentication succeeded. Then you got to press link gateway. Then it brings you back to the Helium app and then you can add it like normal. So uh, this, this, I don't know why this screen, it didn't show up in, in the right line, but yeah. So now you can see this is, it's back here. Then you authenticate it and then you have it added to the network. So it's really easy. And much like Bobcat, SenseCap, and other Helium miners, there is a dashboard for the Freedom Fi. It's pretty cool. Just gives you some nice big letters, tells you what's up and what's down. So it'll tell you if you're synced, if you're relayed, uh, internet access, access to API service, access to dashboard service, all this stuff. Tells you the serial number, uh, what software version. It's really plain but effective. I would say it shows everything really well. What's interesting is that the Freedom Find company and the freedom fi reddit only has 671 members i would expect a lot more people in that but i understand that this 5g stuff is new and it's it's actually hard to get your, your hands on them uh, i had i ordered mine in i believe march i put my deposit down and i finally got it about a week and a half ago so that's just a reference for you guys in the future if uh for some reason this freedom fi becomes a million dollar project just know that it took me like eight months to get. So that's all I got for this. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, I just tried to make a simple step-by-step -step walkthrough and it's pretty much following this guide, but I wanted to give my um, opinions on where I had problems and where you need to fix it. So if you do have that problem in the future, just remember I told you and all you have to do is go to the FreedomFi and contact support. You'll have to make an account on this website and then you can uh, click technical support. They responded to me in, I believe, seven hours. So it was pretty reasonable. I think it might have been less than that. But I was really happy with that. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Merry Christmas for everyone that is celebrating. Uh, if you guys could give me a Christmas present and get me to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm 50 or less than 50 away. I never thought I would actually reach it at the end of the year. I just kind of threw that goal out there. And now we're actually really close. So appreciate it. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.